Welcome to our video on the story of Lucky Luciano, one of the most infamous gangsters in American history. Born Salvatore Lucania in Sicily, Italy in 1897, he would go on to become the founder of the modern American mafia. His criminal empire would span decades and establish him as a legendary figure in organized crime. So, let's take a closer look at the life of Lucky Luciano. Early Life and Rise to Power Lucky Luciano was born Salvatore Lucania on November 24, 1897, in Lurcrafridi, a town in the province of Palermo, Sicily. He was the son of Antonio and Rosalia Lucania, and the family emigrated to the United States when Luciano was nine years old. They settled in New York City, where Luciano grew up in poverty on the Lower East Side. Luciano became involved in street gangs at a young age and was arrested several times for petty crimes. He dropped out of school in the fifth grade and began working odd jobs to support himself. By his teenage years, Luciano had become involved in more serious criminal activities, including theft, extortion, and illegal gambling. In the early 1920s, Luciano began working with other Italian-American gangsters to organize the various crime families in New York City into a single, centralized organization. He formed close alliances with other prominent mobsters, including Meyer Lansky and Frank Costello, Together, they helped to create a system of power-sharing and revenue-sharing among the different criminal groups. Luciano's rise to power was not without its challenges. He faced competition and opposition from other mobsters, including Joe the Boss Masuria and Salvatore Maranzano. However, Luciano was able to outmaneuver his rivals and consolidate his control over the American Mafia. By the mid-1920s, Luciano had become one of the most powerful and influential figures in organized crime. He was known for his strategic thinking, his ability to forge alliances, and his willingness to use violence when necessary. Luciano's success in organizing the American Mafia paved the way for the establishment of the Commission, which he helped to create in the 1930s. Establishing of the Commission The Commission was a governing body that was established by Lucky Luciano in the 1930s. It was made up of the heads of the various crime families across the United States and was responsible for overseeing all organized crime activities in the country. The creation of the commission marked a major shift in the way that organized crime operated in the United States, as it brought together different factions under a single umbrella organization. Luciano was instrumental in establishing the commission and in forging alliances with other crime families across the country. He recognized that by working together, the various criminal groups could achieve more than they could on their own. The commission allowed the different crime families to coordinate their activities and avoid conflicts and turf wars. Luciano used his influence to negotiate deals and settle disputes between different factions within the American Mafia. He was known for his ability to mediate conflicts and find solutions that satisfied all parties involved. The commission became the final authority on matters related to organized crime in the United States and its decisions were binding on all members. The commission was responsible for regulating various criminal activities, including illegal gambling, prostitution, extortion, and drug trafficking. It also had the power to approve or veto major criminal operations, such as the establishment of new territories or the initiation of large-scale criminal enterprises. The commission was a highly secretive organization, and its members went to great lengths to keep their activities hidden from law enforcement. However, its existence and influence were widely known in the criminal underworld and the commission played a major role in shaping organized crime in the United States throughout the 20th century. Imprisonment and Exile In 1936, Lucky Luciano was arrested and convicted of running a prostitution ring. He was sentenced to 30 to 50 years in prison and was sent to the Clinton Correctional Facility in upstate New York. Despite being behind bars, Luciano continued to exert his influence over the American Mafia. He used his connections and resources to maintain control over the organization, working through intermediaries and trusted associates. In 1946, Luciano was released from prison and immediately deported to Italy. The U.S. government saw his deportation as a way of neutralizing his influence on the American Mafia. However, Luciano's exile did not diminish his power or influence. He continued to communicate with his associates in the United States, providing guidance and advice on important matters. While in exile, Luciano traveled extensively, spending time in Cuba, Italy, and other countries. He was often seen in the company of other prominent figures, including politicians, celebrities, and wealthy businesspeople. Luciano maintained his criminal connections, 
and it is believed that he continued to be involved in organized crime activities, including drug trafficking and extortion. Despite being in exile, Luciano remained a significant figure in the American Mafia until his death in 1962. His legacy continued to shape organized crime in the United States and his influence was felt long after his exile. Legacy Lucky Luciano's legacy in the world of organized crime is significant. He was instrumental in establishing the American Mafia as a powerful criminal organization, bringing together different factions and creating a centralized governing body in the form of the commission. Luciano was also known for his business acumen and his ability to negotiate deals and settle disputes between different criminal groups. He recognized the importance of collaboration and cooperation between the various crime families and worked tirelessly to build alliances and maintain control over the organization. Despite his criminal activities, Luciano was also a charismatic and complex figure. He was known for his charm, his intelligence, and his willingness to take risks. His life and career have been the subject of numerous books, films, and TV shows, which have helped to cement his place in popular culture. However, Luciano's legacy is not without controversy. He was involved in numerous criminal activities, including prostitution, gambling, and drug trafficking, and was responsible for the deaths of many people. His legacy has also been tarnished by allegations of collaboration with the U.S. government during World War II, although these claims remain unproven. Despite these controversies, Lucky Luciano remains an important figure in the history of organized crime. His influence on the American Mafia and his role in the development of the Commission have had a lasting impact on the criminal underworld, and his story continues to fascinate and intrigue people to this day.